All right, it is time to wake up and read you your unique devotion. Uh, today, I'm going to read John chapter 9, verses 35 through 41. And this is entitled, True Vision and True Blindness. And this will end chapter 9. All right, here we go. Listening ears, ready? Okay. Jesus heard that they had cast him out. And when he had found him, we're talking about the blind man here, he said to him, Do you believe in the Son of God? He answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I may believe in him? And Jesus said to him, You have both seen him, and it is he who is talking with you. Then he said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. And Jesus said, For the for judgment I have come into this world, that those who do not see may see, and that those who see may be made blind. Then some of the Pharisees who were with him heard these words and said to him, Are we blind also? Jesus said to them, If you were blind, you would have no sin, but now you see. But now you say, We see, therefore your sin remains. Um, sharing time. <laughs> Starting to wake up. The question is this. Do you believe in the Son of God, just as this blind man? For us, on this side of the cross, we have the Holy Spirit, so we could kind of read it a, a little different. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit and His ability to open your eyes? I've talked before about how, you know, sometimes um, we think that we know answers to things, and we say that, you know, we don't know everything, and we're not perfect, but... In reality, we're not necessarily searching for things to be opened to us. <laughs> um, so, when I say, you know, do you believe in his ability to open your eyes? Um, not necessarily to new ideas but to situations and moments throughout the day where his subtle guidance is needed. Um, definitely, I think the biggest one would be in moments of anger or frustration when they're coming on. <laughs> Hopefully he's running in the background of your mind. Um, but you need to be open to that. So I'll read the question one more time. I'll leave you with that. This is something I think that uh, personally needs to be searched out. It's something that I can't really give answers to without knowing individuals and their situations, their perspectives. So, do you believe in the Son of God, in the Holy Spirit, and His ability to open your eyes? On that note, I hope God gives you all the blessings you deserve today, and even more so, all the blessings you don't deserve. And that he, in some way, is able to open your eyes even wider than before. Have a wonderful day.